Welcome back to MMTV. I'm now joined by Tom Oliphant, BTCC driver, Team BMW. The scarlet red Ferrari of Charles Leclerc on pole position. Max Verstappen in the red bullets alongside him. It's all eyes to the lights and foot to the floor as we go racing in Australia. It's a decent start from the front row. Leclerc in front, coming across to defend into the breaking zone of turn one. George Russell slides down the inside further back, but it's a clean start from Leclerc and Max Verstappen in one and two. What the the Prato Orage. Is that your best pronunciation? Yes. Another Lamborghini. It's not going to happen. We're in the arena where basically loads of different types of cars going by, so we thought perfect opportunity to find me a car that I can fit in. Was there a moment where you thought when, when Formula One was becoming a reality and you, you were joining the fraternity, did you think from the start, I could be a world champion? No, never. Jerez, Spain was the scene for the sixth round of the MotoGP World Championship and it was Francesco Bagnaia who took the headlines, uh, setting a blistering lap time to take pole position. So there are so many pros and a couple of cons to this car, but if you're looking for a little bit of fun, and you don't want to buy the whole V8 GT Mustang. This is the perfect halfway house. All dried off? Mm, not quite. Yeah, no, you still got, yeah, anyway. So, what exactly do we need, though, to figure out how much fizz is in this bottle? It's round 18 of the Formula One World Championship, and after three years away, we're about to go racing once again in Japan. The iconic Suzuka International Racing Course plays host for the 32nd time in Formula One history, a track where 11 world titles have been achieved by the likes of Senna, Schumacher, Hacken, and Vettel, Hill, Prost, and Piquet. Can the name Verstappen join them in the history books? And as you can see, the green light is now on. Cars making their way out. A little bit damp, too. Um, last time we had wet running, well, it was Friday, FP1 and FP2, and it wasn't really a good day for Mick Schumacher in the Haas, who absolutely binned it uh, in the wall, essentially, coming out uh, after a practice start right at the end of the session. Just talk us through this, Jolien, because it was a bad day for Schumacher, but he did manage to recover it come qualifying. If you get hungry while you're watching the London New Year's Day bread, you can come to the food court, where there is a huge variety of food on offer, including some very delicious donuts. Meanwhile, on the main straight, though, it is Valtteri Bottas as the former Mercedes driver, now in the Alfa Romeo, who makes a move down the outside of turn one on Yuki Tsunoda. If you wear that, you're good from chemical, biological, radiological, and uh, nuclear um, threats. But you don't really want to be wearing that, but it's hefty stuff. And so wearing it is not that pleasant either. You've got the rubber gloves as well, inner gloves. Uh, there's a material on the underside of this. This is quite waterproof too. Uh, and obviously you've got the uh, covers on the boots too. He's got similar size feet to me actually, so I could probably nick those. Your F1 news in 60 seconds, but what happens to them after? Jaime Algashwari was the first Red Bull junior enter Pastor Maldonado. A jump start then earns a driver a penalty.